Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is SSCM uh, 2016 step by step tutorial and this is the second video and in this video I am going to show you how to install and configure SQL Server for System Center Configuration Manager 2016 step by step. So in my demo, in my lab and demo environment I have two virtual machines here. The first one is Win2K12 DC01 which is my Active Directory domain controller basically and I have assigned 2 GB RAM of for this server and you can see the verify that my IP address is 192.168.1.1 and my domain name is Victor Infoso. Let's check the server. So here it is uh, my domain controller Win2K12 DC01 you can verify from here and and here is my domain uh, domain name victorinfosol.com my IP address and the RAM so <coughs> if you go here on dashboard you can verify I have installed Active Directory DSCP and DNS role on my domain control and my second server is SSCM 2016 on this server I have assigned 8 GB RAM and the machine is joined to my domain and IP address is 192.168.1.253 so here it is uh, I have not installed any role any feature yet on this server so this is basically a fresh machine on which I have uh, uh, just configured the basic settings like uh, IP address and domain name so the basically machine is fresh and no role no feature has been installed on the server so if you go on the first thing uh, which required uh, before installing the SQL server 2016 is .NET framework so let's verify we have dotnet framework or is installed on or not on this server so click uh, from add add role and features you can verify the same and if it's not installed you can go ahead and install the dotnet framework on your server so just give some time to server to calc uh, collect the data about the role and features So we have to check the for the .NET Framework uh, 3.5 feature, and here you can see if I expand uh, .NET Framework 3.5 features, you can see the .NET Framework 3.5 is installed on the server. So uh, just I want to let you know if if you got the error and uh, any error during the installation of SQL Server, you have to install .NET Framework 3.5. So go ahead and cancel this. So we have verified. We have a, a correct version of .NET Framework is installed on so our server. So let's go and install SQL Server 2016 on SSCM 2016 server. So for that, I requ uh, we require one ISO file of SQL Server. So I'm going to mount the SQL Server 2016 um, ISO file on my server. So here you can see I have SQL Server 2016 Service Pack 1. 64 bit uh, ISO file and I am going to mount it on my server so here you can see the uh, drive is mounted and I am going to run the setup so yes I want to run this application so it's launching the wizard here so we are at the SQL server installation center so the first thing you can verify the hardware and software requirement for SQL Server so I, I, I am good to go to install I have all the prerequisites check for hardware and software on the server so click on install so we have on the installation page we have a multiple option like uh, a new SQL Server is done alone installation or add a feature to existing installation it means if you have a SQL Server running on your in, uh, on your server you can add a feature on that running server so uh, the second version install SQL Server management tool this is required to manage the SQL Server by GUI so uh, I will uh, I, we have to install this as well as so the first thing I want to install the SQL Server only so click on new SQL Server installation uh, so it will launch the installation for SQL Server 2016 so please wait while Microsoft SQL Server 2016 setup process the current operations so here uh, you have to provide your product key uh, for the SQL Server uh, for the SQL Server 2016 and I'm going to uh, use the uh, default option uh, because I do uh, I'm using this on my current uh, test environment or lab environment so good to go with the uh, 
this option click next and here we have to I accept the license term next page it will run the checks to so here you can verify setup administrator so we must have the local administrator right on machine by which we we are running the school server so I am running the school server by my uh, domain account as a CM admin and which have the local uh, I have added to local administrator account on this server so good to know and restart computer make sure you don't have any restart pending on server and we you must have dot net as school server so all the compatibility uh, 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 check is completed and we have passed the status otherwise you can see here uh, restart pending on other fail or warning message here so good to go click next and this here is the option use Microsoft, uh, Microsoft update to check the uh, SQL Server update so I am not going to enable this we, we will update the SQL Server manually if required so it will check the like uh, you, your setup installations files so it will take some time and here we are so you can see the all everything is passed we have uh, only one uh, warning here regarding the windows firewall so if you click on warning you will see the uh, like uh, a KB article from Microsoft or URL which uh, allow you to mm, check the uh, uh, firewall ports which is required by SQL server so I don't require this if you are uh, hosting the SQL server on on different server on which you are installing the SQL Server uh, SSM 2016, then you have to enable the port a uh, port uh, uh, like you can you have to allow the ports between the SSM server and SQL server. So I'm installing the both thing on this SSM Server 2016. So good to go. Click next. So for this, basically we require only for SSM server we just require database engine service and the reporting service uh, that's all so here you can see the uh, 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 many options but uh, for SSM server 2016 we require only the reporting service and database service engine so click no next and if you want to change the directory shared, shared feature and everything here you can change the, these settings so I am going to, to use the default one so click next So here you can see the uh, set the uh, instance name or by default uh, you can use the uh, default instance as well as so I'm going to use the default in instance name for SQL Server which is uh, uh, MS SQL Server so click next this will uh, this is required when you uh, you are installing the SQL ser uh, Server and the SSEM Server 2016 it's required during the SCM server 2016 step uh, uh, setup so just wait for a few seconds so here we have we have all the set all the service which is required by SQL server so I'm going to define to run these all the ser services by my uh, domain account which is Victor InfoSoul SCM admin and I'm going to allow the password for this machine and I'm going to make it a uh, SQL Server agent to run automatically and paste it and I'm going to provide the my credential for SSM admin and for the reporting service as well as I'm going to use the same account so we have configured the, all the permissions and click next and if you have any warning like a uh, password a uh, password not uh, uh, you have not typed the pass correct password here it will give you the error message here you can correct you need to identify and correct the uh, username and password here so just check this for a sec so we have provided the correct information so here is the option so uh, SQL Server authentication you you can set it to max mode Windows authentication so I, I want to uh, run the SQL Server uh, by Windows uh, uh, Windows uh, account so I want to set the Windows authentication mode and I want to add this current user SSCM admin to SQL Server administrator click next 
so reporting service we have option to install only and install and configure so I'm going to use the default one install and configure the reporting services click next so here you have the all the all the detail which is going to uh, run uh, within the SQL Server installation uh, window so you can see the service configuration name reporting service and the uh, administrator is going to be the administrator for this and temp directories information temp di directory database information and the service uh, database engine service uh, account and type and everything so so seems everything looks good just go ahead and click on install button and now you can see the installation is just started so it takes some time like 5 to 10 minutes to done the installation for SQL Server 2016 on your machine but it depend on uh, totally depends on your computer speed and performance so just we have to done the installation for SQL Server 2016 after that we will install the um, management tool for SQL Server so you can see the installation is started and I'm pausing the recording here once the installation is done for SQL Server we will we'll resume the same video uh, to continue the configure the SQL Server and other things so here you can see the installation is successful all the features so go ahead and click on close button and if you go to start button now you can see the SQL Server is installed on your machine here's the SQL Server 2016 folder and in the next step we have to install SQL Server management tool uh, to manage the SQL Server so go ahead and click on this so this will give you the brow uh, like path from where you can download the SQL Server management studio so we have two op uh, uh, two uh, versions here current GA release for production use and the second one is 17.0 uh, RC one is not uh, you can see but not recommended for production so I have downloaded the 16.5.1 uh, uh, if you go to my download folder you can verify here it is so so you can download it from here and I'm going to run it just go ahead and double click on the uh, exe file so meantime I'm going to close this one so here we have uh, Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio release 16.5.1 uh, so just need to click on install so it will launch the installation for SQL Server Management Studio and it will take some time to two or three minutes to get the installation done for Management Studio so just give some time to screen to install the management studio on the server so we have uh, done the uh, SQL server installation and set the domain service account to run SQL server which is my SSCM admin account which we have set on SQL server installation wizard and we are currently we are doing the installation SQL server management studio to management tool on our SQL server so just wait for some after that we have to launch the SQL server management studio and we'll do the uh, basic memory setting which is required for a uh, uh, SSCM 2016 or as any SSCM version so just wait please loading package please wait So I am pausing the recording here. Once the installation is done for Management Studio, we'll write back. Here you can see the package process and overall process for SQL Server Management Studio. So it will take some time. So now you can see the SQL Server Management Studio installation is completed. Go ahead and close the the wizard. And if you go here and type SQL Server Management Studio. We have SQL Server Management Studio installed. Click on it to launch the SQL Server Manager Management Tool. So here we are, SQL Server 2016 Management Studio, powered by Visual Studio.
so first time it will check the like uh, a few settings about the server so Microsoft Azure Server Management Studio is loading user profile this may check few minutes no problem at all So here we are at the time of installation SQL Server we have defined the Windows authentication mode on the authentication and I have logged in with my uh, SSM admin account and which is uh, joined as a like local administrator for SQL Server so go ahead and click on connect button So here you can see the SQL Server is connected and go ahead and properties and do like memory shifting for the uh, SQL Server man SQL Server so if you go on memory click and here you can see the minimum server memory is uh, set to 0 so I'm going to make it like 10 GB and maximum memory size I want to limit by you can say the 12,000 megabytes so click OK so go ahead and close this and now I want to show you some uh, thing about the SQL Server services so if you go to services and type SQL now you can see we have a SQL Server uh, instance my SQL Server is running with the administrator account SSCM admin and uh, SQL Server isn't as well as so this is all about the installing the SQL Server Management Studio and SQL Server 2016 uh, for the um, uh, SSCM Server 2016 and thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this video please post me on below and thank you once again bye bye